This has to be probably one of the most best games ever made. I'm serious. What's going on guys, Guitar Game Guy here and welcome to the next update video for GTA 5 Zombie Attack Legacies coming out October 12th, 2013 for those of you that don't know that yet because the uh, fourth teaser trailer just so happened to release the release date of that which I'm very stoked to have finally revealed to you guys um, but I thought it's time that I make another quick update video just to let you guys know what's up to date it's been about a month or so since uh, I made the last update video, and since then there's been a lot of uh, GTA 5 videos coming out that Rockstar has released, such as the uh, three character trailers. There's also been the gameplay trailer, which I was very, very stoked to see. And finally, we're going to be getting the multiplayer gameplay trailer pretty soon here in a bit. But until then, I'm going to be giving you guys the update video of the series of GTA 5, the Zombie Attack Legacies, of uh, basically what's pretty much been happening recently. I'm basically around this time I'm going to answer some very popular questions I've been getting. I'm going to uh, reveal some more zombie types and a couple characters. Also, if you guys have not auditioned for being a voice actor yet, yes, that's right, I'm actually hosting voice acting auditions for this series. If you haven't uh, seen my last update video for that yet, be sure to check it out because it explains it a little bit more. Plus, I reveal a lot more characters in my last update video. If you guys have not submitted your voice acting auditions, be sure to do that as quickly as possible because the auditions are going to end on August 1st. And so how do you audition to be a voice actor for those of you that still don't know? You can either make a uh, video response to any of my uh, Zombie Attack Legacy update videos, or you can send it to my uh, email account that will be on the screen somewhere. It will also be in the description as well. Or you can send it to my gamer tag, which will again be on the screen and also be in the description. So be sure to uh, get those uh, auditions to me as soon as possible. I've been getting a ton. Um, I'm actually very impressed with what I've gotten so far. To be honest, I thought I was going to get some, I wouldn't say bad ones, just ones that I didn't think were that all that great. But so far, I've been getting some really, really, really good auditions. So a lot, for those of you that are submitting your auditions, uh, thank you guys so much. You're doing really well. If you want to keep auditioning, you may do so. And uh, once again, guys, I am going to be hosting those auditions till August 1st. So make sure you get those out as soon as possible. Okay, so with that out of the way, now I'm going to be talking about some questions people have been asking that I feel that need to be answered. And these have been very, very popular questions that um, I really, I've answered them individually to people, but I haven't really, let's say, answered them to the public. So the first most uh, popular question I've been getting is, okay, guitar game guy. If there's going to be no zombie skins in uh, GTA 5, what are you going to do? I've been getting this question all the time, um, and I answer it the same way to every single person, and I'll tell you guys the exact same thing I've told all of them. If there are no zombie skins in GTA 5 when GTA 5 comes out, I will find a way to make the series work. I can't tell you exactly how that's going to happen because the game isn't out yet, so I couldn't tell you. But me and Super Scrubs 300, who is going to be a producer for this series, helping me out, we will find a way to make it work. It's not going to be impossible for us to make this series, and there's not going to be any zombie skins. Believe me when I tell you that we will find a way to make it work. I don't know how, but somehow in the first zombie series and zombie attack series, the, the first season, I made it work when I was killing a bunch of civilians and pretending those to be zombies. Me and Manny found a way to make it work. If we can pull that off, I'm pretty sure we can pull off maybe not having a zombie skin or so in GTA 5. I'll make it work, guys, somehow, and um, I'll work the story around it to make it seem realistic, try to make it seem as appropriate as possible so that it fits the story well enough. So don't worry about it. I'll make it work. Just have faith. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Another question I'm beginning a lot is, uh, why exactly are you making trailers for this series if the game's not even out yet? Shouldn't you wait till the game's released? Now, I do agree with that. However, these are not trailers I'm making for this series. These are teasers. Yes, there is a difference, people, between a teaser and an actual trailer. Teasers are simply just small little videos I'm releasing to give you guys a general idea of what this series is going to be about. It's not actually going to have any actual footage from the game or the series. 
Now granted, I will be making tr a trailer or two when the game actually comes out, so that I can actually get footage from the game, and then actually use that in a trailer, like an official trailer. Until then, I'm making these teaser videos, which are basically just little videos just to give you guys a little generic idea of what's going to be in the series. And some people really don't know a whole lot about this series already, which is kind of my point, because I don't want you guys to know a whole lot about it, because that would kind of ruin the whole thing. I think it's better right now for it to be kind of a mystery type feel, basically. I think that would be a lot cooler for it to you know, have a suspicious, mysterious kind of thing to it. And that's the point of the teasers, so that they don't reveal too much. Even the official trailers I'm going to be releasing won't reveal too much, which is the whole point. Because the story in uh, the Legacies is what I'm going to be focusing on the most. Which, um, in Series 3, I sorted it out. I did action, story-based, comedy. It was a whole lot of gen genres mixed together. The story in Legacies will be the main focus, be because based on the feedback I got from Series 3, that was people's most uh, favorite aspect of the series. So that's why I'm focusing mainly on the story, and so far, in my personal opinion, my producers' opinions, and some of my friends that I've uh, told this series about, they really, really, really like the story. Now, for those of you that have been watching my previous update videos, you probably know the generic idea of what this uh, series is about. It's going to take place 30 years after the events in uh, Series 3 all over again. There's going to be all new characters, all new types of zombies, it's in a whole new city of course, duh. Instead of calling it Los Santos and calling it Los Angeles, the arm is going to be in the series. You know, small little details like that, and of course a lot more gets revealed in the actual series. In order for you to actually get an idea of what the story is about, you actually have to watch this series instead of me revealing all of it to you guys before it even comes out, which kind of ruins the whole thing, and I hate when people do that, so... I'm not going to ruin it for you guys, because the story, in my opinion, is very, very good. Um, I've, I've shared this story with a lot of other people. In fact, I've shared the stories to people that actually do writing for uh, films for a living. They really, really like it. So, I hope you guys like it as much as me and they do, which I, I assume probably all of you will. So now I'm going to be revealing a lot more zombie types to you guys. But before I do that, there was actually one character I forgot to do, uh, to reveal in my last update video. I know, shame on me, I forgot to talk about one person. Oh sh**! But anyway, now that I'm making a new update video, I'm going to reveal uh, the new character to you guys. This character's name is Eris. She is the female antagonist of the series. So not only are we getting a female protagonist, but we're getting a female antagonist. She's going to be the assistant of the main villain in this series. I'm not going to reveal the main villain's identity. That would seriously spoil the whole entire series in like one second. So I'm not going to do that. But whoever the main villain is in this series, Eris is going to be one of the um, assistants of uh, the main villain. So it's pretty interesting because uh, we're getting a female protagonist, we're also getting a female antagonist. So that'll be really, really interesting to see how that progresses. Hope you guys like it, uh, me implement that idea into the series. I love beer. Anyway, <laughs> um, the zombie types I'm going to reveal to you guys. I have them listed here on my uh, laptop. So I'm basically going to be um, reading it out. Um, the first zombie type is called a stalker zombie. These are basically assassins. While they normally don't fight in large scale battles, they are deadly if they fight someone one on one. They are capable of tracking targets and exploiting their weaknesses. They will often gather info and report it to the main villain in the series. So that zombie type is going to be pretty, pretty interesting to see. Now before I reveal any more zombie types to you guys real quick, these may or may not be all of the zombie types in this series. I may have a couple more that I might release or that I might actually put in the series. We'll see what happens, but for now, I can tell you guys these are for sure going to be in the series and that they're going to all take place in this. They're all going to have an effect on the story. And most of all, I can't wait to see you guys uh, see them fight because they're going to be pretty epic fights, dude. Okay, so the next zombie type is called a suicidal zombie. Yeah, that, that pretty much speaks for itself. Huh? <laughs> I mean, what's there to say? 
They can run at you with a cooker knee or catch themselves on fire, which we've seen before, but not really done this way. Uh, they are completely fearless and care only about two things: serving their main, serving the main villain in the series, and taking their target's life. So suicidal zombies. Those are going to be pretty crazy to see, and most of all, epic. We all love zombies that kill themselves, right? Right? I know you do. I know you do. Alright, the next zombie type is called a Raider Zombie. These ones have a very high intelligence level, so they are able to control jets and other aircraft. They often use airstrikes at their disposal. So these uh, types of zombies, most of the time, are going to be the zombies flying the jets during the series. Now before I move on, I know there's going to be some people out there, whether they have watched my series or not, they're just going to completely flame the f*** out of me, because they're going to say, What? Zombies can't drive vehicles or fly planes or use weapons? What kind of bullshit is this? What? What? No! Uh -uh. I'm calling you out, GGG. You don't do that. Okay. For those of you that still don't know, all the zombies in my series have always been able to shoot weapons, drive vehicles, things like that. Reason being is because they get trained to. Also, these are not the generic zombie types you've seen before in B movies and those, you know, zombie flicks you see on TV and movies, things like that. They're not that generic. They're, if you will, a lot like the infected type from Resident Evil, where a lot of those are, you know, they use weapons. Uh, mine are basically taking it to the next level where they can use vehicles and some can even talk, they're very intelligent, all of their senses, like all of their human-like senses are pretty much upscaled, uh, way above and beyond a normal person's, so they pretty much have like high sensitivity and things like that. And so they basically get trained by uh, the main villain to do all of these things. So they're not going to be the average, you know, run at you like idiots and get shot at over and over and over again type of zombies. These ones are military trained infected uh, people that are, they want, I wouldn't even call them people, they're just not human anymore, but because they kind of act like zombie-like creatures and look like zombie-like creatures, they're just called zombies. That's basically what the survivors call them because at first, at their uh, normal stage, that's what they act like. When they evolve, pretty much like evolving like a Pokemon, if you will, once they start evolving, then that's when they begin really well trained in their weaponry and um, their driving skills, things like that. That's pretty much why they're able to do things that most other types of zombies you always heard about can't. People really get pissed at me about that because they're so used to zombies not being able to do that, when simply I think that's too generic, too bland. We've seen zombies in so much stuff and we all know they act the exact same way every single time. And to be honest, there's the people that have seen my series actually really like this approach because it has been done before and they say that the way that I've portrayed it is really good. So for those of you that haven't seen the series of my uh, in GTA 4, that's why. So please don't throw a hate at me like, you suck, you suck, you suck, zombies can't do that, no, 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 no. Okay. That's why, guys. It may sound silly to you for those of you that haven't seen any of my series before, which is kind of odd because I assume everyone's seen this video probably has by now, but for the few of you that haven't, that's why, okay? It sounds weird, but just wait till the series comes out, you'll see what I mean, and uh, you'll most likely like it because the, the people that, have, that first were like, that sounds kind of weird, later on, they've liked it, so be patient. It'll work out. Wait and see. Okay, moving on. The next type of zombie that um, I think is pretty badass, it's called a frantic zombie. So, holy shit. Stay away from these things. <laughs> they are almost like ninja zombies. <laughs> they have very quick maneuvering and reflexes. They are very well trained with their weapons, are completely psychotic. Not only do they have high dexterity, but their strength will make you sh** yourself. So, they're almost like, if you will, rogue zombies, so they're very, they're very quick. When they attack, they're very quick at attacking, so, yeah. 
They're pretty creepy. Pretty damn creepy. I keep away from them. If I were you. Alright, and the next type of zombie I'm going to reveal it to you guys is the new and improved Berserker. This time around, they are called the Uber Berserkers. Yep, so the Berserkers are back. They're more deadlier than ever. They are much stronger than they were in the Series 3. Much stronger. I won't spoil too much about what their capabilities are because I, uh, I want you guys to actually see the series and see what happens and how exactly strong they are. And then when you see that actually happen, you'll be like, Holy shit! So, just a single one can take on hundreds of soldiers and still live. They favor tanks since they love their destruction force, but it's their fists you should really be afraid of. So, these their fists, if they punch you, that force from their punches is a lot more stronger than the force by getting shot from a tank. Yeah. I'm not kidding. A punch from the Uber Berserker in Legacies is stronger than being shot by a tank. Don't believe me? Watch the series and see for yourself when it comes out. And then there is the prototype Omega Zombies. So this time around, these are the basically how Kurt made the Berserkers in Series 3. These are the main creation of the main villain in the series. What the main villain does, he takes the formula created the Berserkers and he perfects it basically. He greatly improves on it and I won't reveal too much about the Omega Zombies and their abilities because let's just say uh, if you thought the Uber Berserker was freaky this thing makes it look like an ant. Yeah. <laughs> and finally of course there is the Leader Zombies which uh, I won't reveal the main villain to you guys because that would spoil the whole thing but what's more to say? The, the Leader Zombies they're the leaders for the reason, they're the strongest, and they're pretty much impossible to kill. Alright guys, so that does it for all of the zombie types that I'm going to reveal to you all around this time. Hope you all enjoyed the video, hope it gave you a little more emphasis on what's going to be happening in the series. And like I said, if you guys still have not uh, submitted your voice acting auditions to me, be sure to do so because those are going to last forever. It's going to last until August 1st, so be sure to get those submitted to me as soon as you can. Can't wait to see all of them. So far they've been great. Can't wait to see more. And most of all, I cannot wait to finally release GTA 5 The Zombie Tag Legacies to you guys. Coming out October 12, 2013. I have a ton of support this time around. It's going to be way more hyped up than ever before. I had a ton of support for it. And I can't wait to finally show it to you guys. I hope you guys will enjoy watching it as much as me and all the other producers will enjoy making it. So as always guys, be sure to subscribe! Oh yeah, buy this f***ing game. This game right here, buy this f***ing game. It's awesome. Subscribe. Seriously, buy it.